I'm here with Brian from Astrophysics. We have a bunch of new products yeah. here. Here's a, a new mount and a new telescope. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Absolutely. Well, thanks for coming by. As you've been seeing, a lot of people are very, very interested in this brand new 190 millimeter F6 Starfire. It's a, called a CS. It's a brand new design. CS stands for Christian Super Acromat. So nice. named after Roland Christian, the designer, obviously, and the owner of the company. Super Acromat, a lot of people think it's kind of a buzzy term, but it's actually a very specific term. It's the fourth level of uh, correction in a, a refractor. Uh, that being that you've got your sort of singles, you've got your Acromats, you've got your Apos, and then Super Acromat corrects for spherical serochromatism, which is essentially means that all of the, all of the colors across the spectrum from uh, ultraviolet to infrared are all going to be uh, absolutely sharp. You know, so you're not going to see a lot of fall. It's a triplet. A triplet. Okay. Triplet design. So. It's extremely hard to make a super acromat, and you know we we tell a little story about Roland. Been working on this for years. Uh, he's gone back into the 1800s to look at uh, Frederick Gauss's original designs for this kind of super acromat type of concept, and he's been working on this for quite some time. It's a very special design and a very special set of glass that you know he keeps under wraps. But uh, not only is it difficult to do as you get larger in the refractor, but also as you get faster. So okay. you really don't see as something like this at an F6 at all. Um, so it's, it's just an absolutely spectacular uh, telescope, we think. Uh, the image circle is up to 64 millimeters, so not only full frame, but now you're talking medium format. Medium format yep. And you're also talking about the largest medium format. So now it's 150 megapixel, the larger uh, sensor size. So this one, uh, we are just uh, in, announced yesterday. Uh, it is not yet in production. We're trying to decide what we're going to do with it. Everyone's like, you know, how much is it going to cost? When is it going to be? Yeah. We don't have that information yet for this one, but a lot of the good news is a lot, a lot of interest. Marge wants me to say billions and billions of photons can be captured <laughs> with this, which is true. See, we're doing the Carl Sagan thing. I'm Carl Sagan. It's riding on top of a brand new mount. It's riding on top of the brand new. So this is the 1150 GTO, the successor of the 1100, right? So folks who are somewhat familiar or maybe not familiar with astrophysics, we have the Mach 2, which we're going to take a look at here momentarily. That's our 75 pound capacity absolute encoder mount. The 1100 series, which is kind of our most popular mid-range mount. And then the 1600, which is over on the table, uh, that's kind of disassembled, but that's for the largest uh, right. uh, instruments that we have. But this is by far the most popular. So what we've done is it's taken essentially everything we like about the 1100, this, this weight capacity, we've increased it to about 125 pounds. We've added through the mount uh, cabling. You'll see on the other side, we have USB power via, you know, power works, power poles, but also ethernet we've added there. Oh, cool. In addition to custom cabling, if people want to do that kind of stuff. When you add the absolute encoders, which is an option. So when you spend money like this on a mount, sometimes you want right. to kind of space it out a bit. So you can do that. Uh, but when you have, when you get the absolute encoder option, these are also sky-aware clutches, so you can loosen the clutches and move it around. It still knows where it is in the sky, so it will never get lost, and you can just home it, which is really important for right. remote observing kinds of things. For sure. Uh, so this is kind of the upgraded version of that. Um, it's kind of like the Mach 1 to the Mach 2, but for the 1100. Yeah, kind of, kind of like that. Yeah, we also included like the the belt drives and the stepper motors now, so it's whisper quiet, very nice. The tracking now has been improved. It's down about 0.19 arc seconds error uh, using the absolute encoders, which, as you know, is spectacular. So with the software that we bundle with it, the APCC Pro, you can do sky modeling. A lot of people are doing unguided imaging on you know, you know, know, reasonably length uh, refractors and getting great results, five minutes, 10 minutes. I've been doing 30 minutes with wow. the Mach 2 on a 130. You know, it's just a delight to use. That's amazing, that's yeah. amazing. So. Uh, you have another uh, scope as well? We do. We're going to come on down out? here. Let's take a look. All the things I talked about on the 190, right, are also true for the 155. So this is a kind of like a little brother to the 190. It's a 155 F6 Starfire CS, the Kristen Super Acromat. All the things I talked about in terms of the sphere chromatism, the fourth level of uh, correction all apply for this one as well. It's just a 155 millimeter focal length as opposed to the 190. It's also very, very uh, lightweight. Uh, I, I don't know if I mentioned that, but the, the, the 190 is only 36 pounds. Wow, okay. So uh, it will absolutely run on this. This 155 absolutely easily runs on this Mach 2 unguided if you want. 
and again, we have this ex extremely large uh, uh, di diagonal of 64 millimeters. So not only full frame, not only medium format, but the largest medium format when you're talking about the 150 megapixel types of cameras, you're going to have that growth path if you're not there yet to be just getting some amazing images out of this telescope. Excellent. Is this one in production? So this one actually, it has gone into production. Uh, we are building that now. The 190, we're still kind of waiting on to see what the, the reaction is. Unfortunately, so far, really good. Um, but the 155 is in production now. The waiting list is not currently open because uh, the waiting list that we have for the 155 goes back to about 1990 right now. So, you know, astrophysics is kind of known for long. It's, a, it, a, it's abnormally long for us as right. well, but, you know, we're going to get through that and then start to make it, you know, available for other folks once we get through those lists. Very good, very good. Super excited to see some new products. Always a great pleasure to be by yeah. the astrophysics yeah. booth. Thank you. Thanks for coming by. We always like to see you, and thanks, everybody. All right, thanks, everybody. If you're still watching and like videos like this one, please consider becoming a Patreon patron. Memberships start as low as $3 per month, with benefits including opportunities to ask questions of our guests. Also, please consider to like, subscribe, and share this video to help us bring the universe even closer than you think.